Hi, this is Vinitra. Come on in. I'm an interior designer and I'm happy to be walking you through my home today with LBB. We are here at my entryway today and this is what you see when you first walk into the home. Pictures of places we've traveled to and they are beautiful and bring back happy memories. So we've been living in this home for almost three years now and um, we've collected a lot of bits and bobs over the years. My design style is all about layering so I've tried to bring in all of these memories and these pieces that we own and layer them to our living spaces. So what you see here is a cabinet that has pieces that I use on the everyday like cookbooks but also little bits and bobs like photo frames and things that we've collected over time. The other thing that you will notice about uh, our home is my love for natural materials. I uh, love working with materials like wood, with cane and jute, uh, to bring in that earthiness and naturalness into our spaces. Um, so what you see here is a very old dining table, um, almost 15 years old, made of solid walnut wood. And then we have chairs, which are cane uh, weaved, uh, both in the back and the front. and. Um, Little details like this long jute runner, all of this, um, you know, brings in that feeling of uh, natural sustainable materials that I love to use. Uh, this is another favorite piece um, that I have. Um, I love collecting crockery and, uh, you know, to be able to um, display as well as reach out for my crockery uh, at uh, arm's length is something that I really love. So we're here in my living room now. Um, from the dining, we walk into the living. This is the largest wall in the living room and it's one of our favorite walls in the house. I've always, always wanted to have a gallery wall of art. Both me and my husband love art. And uh, you know, being able to put all the art that we've collected over time and from various places um, really makes me happy. Um, of course, it brings back old memories, but it, um, what's also even more special to us is all of these pieces have a little story behind them and being able to share that makes for a fun conversation always. Um, and what I also love is there are very small pieces of art. It's not one style. This is a Pata Chitra that my parents had gifted us for our wedding. And then uh, we also have along with it uh, modern pieces like this piece from Norway. Uh, and I just love how everything fits in together. A lot of our color palette in this house is very Scandinavian. It's very simplistic. The colors are whites and muted tones like warm beiges and grays. Um, and that was intentional because I knew that, you know, we have a lot of um, art and a lot of artifacts and collectibles that we wanted to display. So we wanted our home to give us that bare shell feeling and let everything else come alive. Again, I love soft natural textures. So a woolen rug kind of brings in warmth to the space. Uh, we have cane, wood. The palette always remains um, natural and clean and it carries through the rest of the home. As we come in here on the other side, we have um, two mid-century chairs. These are old vintage chairs that I had got um, refurbished. Um, still love them a lot and uh, we have a nice console behind um, with a piece of art again on top. The other thing that you know we've I've tried to incorporate through the house is a lot of green. Um, it's something that I love and uh, I also love the way greens can add a sculptural touch to your space. So big tall plants, large leaves, um, these are things that I enjoy incorporating into a space. So this is our family room. It's, uh, it's a room for everything. <laughs> we watch TV here, we hang out here. My daughter plays the piano. Sometimes we work here. So it's basically one room that lets us do what we want. <laughs> um, we intentionally wanted it to have a warm, moody feel, therefore the dark walls. 
um, and a nice big sectional for all of us to plonk on and watch a movie. Um, this is actually one of our favorite rooms in the house. So this is my son's room. It's a space that has a lot of whites to keep it nice and bright. His favorite color is blue, so we incorporated it in the ceiling. I also wanted to keep the room easy and clutter free um, so that uh, there is enough space for kids to move around and play. The other favorite elements here is this piece of art that we got when uh, he was a year old and it's been a part of his room ever since. It's something that all of us love. So this is my daughter's room. She's the youngest, the most creative in our family and uh, her only request for this room was that it be fun and playful. So we have a lovely mind gap um, mural on the wall and a striped rug to go with it. Um, and I love the play off between the geometric and the botanical here. A little reading nook for her. And uh, this is her desk area and her creative corner. Um, she does a million things um, and this is really her space. There are no rules here and we don't get to say too much and you can see how it's come together. So this is our master bedroom. Um, it's bright, it's clean and it has a very bare modern shell which is what I wanted. And on that we have a lot of beautiful vintage pieces uh, like this bed. Um, it has uh, intricate cane weaving and it's made of solid wood uh, and also this carpet which my parents had bought very long back. Um, I think what I love most about this room is the way we've been able to juxtapose the modern with the vintage. Um, everything here has been um, curated to bring together that feel. This mirror has an old vintage feel. Uh, the bed is crisp and white to kind of give you that contrast between the vintage and the clean modern look. Um, this is another favorite piece. Uh, it's a Balinese um, headboard uh, piece and uh, I've just put it on the pelmet here because I thought it looks interesting there and also adds some height to the space. Um, and this is actually my most favorite corner in the house. If you walk through the house and I'm not anywhere else, this is where I will be. I do whatever, I actually work here most of the time, sitting on this chair, I read, I hang out. It is my most favorite spot. I've lived in so many homes over the years, from big to small, rented to own, and I truly believe home is special. Home is a place I love coming back to. And I also believe that it doesn't really matter if your home is small or big, you can always make it a beautiful space for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this home tour. Thank you so much for watching. And for more such content, don't forget to subscribe to LBV Homely. See you next time. Bye.